started actually certainly towards the end of residency when I finally had some kind of downtime. Um, and it's really a story about my journey through medicine, medical school and residency as an African-American male. So it's a story that really tells uh, the narrative of what my own journey was like as a doctor, but also the story of patients uh, and their uh, navigating the healthcare system. As a black man, a very tall black man, uh, entering the medical world, people see me and the last thing they're thinking of is me as a doctor. And so as early as a medical student, one of my first experiences was a professor uh, asking me to fix the lights in the classroom, mistaking me uh, in that capacity. Had another incident as a young doctor where a patient uh, said he didn't want an inward doctor taking care of him. So there's all these sort of kind of difficult experiences you grapple with. Medi medical training is hard no matter who you are. And then there's this added element by being virtue of being black. Um, so that's one uh, big piece of the story. And the other aspect is sort of the story of patients and all the sort of challenges they face and, the, and the, sort of the blatant and sort of subtle discriminations uh, that occur. But I think from a larger level, there's an institutional, uh, how does the institution approach issues like that? Some of the encounters that I faced, uh, I had the support of my institution um, where a patient might say they don't want a provider, they don't want a black provider, and someone higher on the chain than me would say, well, you know, you're at this place, you're, uh, this is the academic center, you see this person or you see no one. And so that's that, that kind of support uh, is really important. My field is psychiatry, the audience here is oncology, um, but this is an issue that's relevant to all. Uh, just to give you a couple examples. Um, so as a, um, uh, as a psychiatrist, about 3% of, of providers are African American, and in oncology it's about 2%. Uh, the, the population in African American country is 13%. In many of the larger cities where young doctors train, we're talking 30, 40, 50%. So these issues come up in, in all sorts of ways. I feel like there's a sense that among doctors who've gone to school for many years after college, medical degrees, MD, PhDs, that there's a sense that somehow um, they are too smart to have these sorts of limitations. Uh, when the reality is these, these, these limitations, these biases that impact everyone, all of us have them. In my story, I'm candid about my own biases. I mean, I think it's something that we all have to kind of frame and understand. And I sort of use my own experience as a window into that larger discussion.